Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to talk about adaptions, or better yet, clearing adaptions. What adaptions are is the control module for the engine and the control module for the transmission as you drive the vehicle will adapt to changes in the sensors, changes in your driving habits, and essentially adapt to keep the vehicle within a certain efficiency level. So what happens is, should you develop a fault, say like a mass airflow sensor or a uh, transmission shift fault or anything else on that that will affect the drivability of the vehicle, after you've done the repair, you need to clear adaptions. Now, I'll just quickly explain, say in the case of a mass airflow sensor, mass airflow, mass airflow sensor has deteriorated, so what happens is the system has adapted and constantly adapted and until it's reached a certain limit, it can no longer adapt. In the field, then you basically get your fault code and you have to do a repair. You put the new mass airflow sensor in it and what happens now is that's reading correctly, but you're still running off the old adaptions and the car's gonna run worse than it did before you did the repair and you're gonna think that's not the problem. What you need to do, anytime you change O2 sensors, throttle body, throttle position, mass airflow sensor, you should always clear adaptions. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do that with the new iLand and how easy it is to do. And it's also very important, so keep watching. Alright, so you know the basics. You're going to plug your iLand in. You have your dongle that you plug into the diagnostic. You go through the basics and then you're going to go to this screen. Now on this screen you'll notice all the vehicles, all the blocks are in red. This is because this is the Pro Series and we have access to all these different vehicles. If you've purchased an iLand, you can get for just one design vehicle, like in this case say Discovery. It'll be just red blocked on the Discovery, the rest will be in white. So we're going to pick our Discovery. We'll go through what they call garage disclaimers. It tells me this is in the current version, otherwise it would list another version underneath and we would load that in just so we know we have the latest and the greatest. We'll hit confirm. And it's going to connect with the Bluetooth. And just give it a few minutes or a few seconds actually. It doesn't take that long. Here's our choices. We can go to any one of these Discovery versions. We're in a 99 Discovery 2. And we'll go to engine. Now essentially all the Discovery 2's are going to be Bosch Multronic, no other system. That's basically the only petrol system they used on these with the 4.0 and later on the 4.6. So we know the ignition is on, we have keys on, we can see our lights. Now you've got this listing of all the capabilities, but we're going to get down to vehicle maintenance. It gives you a little warning as far as looking at who should be working on their vehicle. Now here we have reset adaptions. Now this is very easy where we're just going to hit that. It's going to sort of explain what adaptions are and what you should, under what conditions you should be doing this under. Like say basically fuel injector, lambda sensor, which is essentially O2 sensor, fuel pump, mass airflow sensor, uh, intake manifold leak or air leak repair, all that can affect adaptions. So then it's going to ask you at the bottom, you're going to basically confirm, do you wish to reset ECM adaptions? So we're just going to do that. And they've been reset just that quickly, just that easy. But now what it has done is it's reset all the initial settings for the ECM back to original factory uh, settings. So we hit OK, and we're all done with that. Then we can back up. And it's usually best that if you do one, you should always do the other. It's reasonably easy to do. Let me just get this to back up here. Maybe it just doesn't like that finger. There we go. So we're back to part of our menu. We're going to go back one more. Okay, so now these are all the different modules we have access to. So we're going to go to uh, auto gearbox, essentially transmission. Ignition's still on. And it's going to reconnect. Okay, so now we've connected with the transmission control module. We'll go to vehicle maintenance. We hit OK. And there right on top is reset adaptions. And we'll hit that. And again, it's going to go through and explain why you would do this and under what conditions. And then at the bottom, of course, there's your confirmation. Do you wish to reset ECU adaptions? And we'll hit yes. And there you go. Adaptions have been reset successfully. So now we've done both engine and transmission. It didn't even take five minutes. So now we'll back up. We'll get back to the main menu, and then of course, when you go to do this, it'll say really quit. We're going to back out of that. 
And at this point, it's a reminder, make sure you don't leave the dongle plugged in into the diagnostic plug. And we'll hit OK because we pull it out. And that's it. And that's, so that's basically a very easy thing to do, especially with the iLand. And it's very important to do, as you can see, under certain repair conditions so that you know when you're done and you restart the vehicle, it's going to run right. So when uh, if you're going to get into repairs on your Discovery 2, again, that's 99 to 2004, and you find you need a tool that's going to be able to do the reset for adaptions, just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen, 1-800-533-2210. Or, if you like, you can order your iLand online at this link. And if you liked our how-to video and would like to see more, you can go to our YouTube channel and subscribe and uh, view all our different um, uh, videos that we've done to help you keep your Land Rover in good order. So, thank you for watching, and Rover on.